Uh, welcome to uh, No One Likes Your Band TV episode one. I am joined by a fair portion of natives. Natives. Gang. 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 Percentage wise, how, uh, what percentage is this? Like 40% maybe? Roughly. Roughly. Yeah. Roughly. I'd say about roughly 40%. <laughs> <laughs> I like that number. So, okay, just let me, <laughs> let me interject this real quick. Okay, here's this 40% of natives. At Gusto Fest, it's going to be like all oh, natives. So, gang, 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 gang. Why do you <laughs> not want to see that? Gang. But anyway, uh, so y'all talk about this uh, new shit y'all got coming out, Native Sunday. All right, who's, I should feel this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. man. Hey, man. Well, we be kind of. On oh, some recluse shit. I feel like we ain't been out as much, you feel me? Look at the right my bro got the single out right now. Damn, my man Drake got the book out just like me. But as far as like a collective crew, we ain't always in people's face letting them know like what each member does or like keeping folks up to speed with what we got going on. So just as a better way to stay in tune with the people who like tune into our shit and like our fans of what we do, I wanted to start putting out music on a consistent basis. Usually we be trying to focus on projects and we all work with each other to help focus on whoever got a project coming out next. But right now, I feel like, you know what I mean, we all got songs, we all got material, so we're going to start trying to release at least one song every Sunday, and we're going to call it Native Sundays. Goddamn, I feel like that's a strong promo campaign just to like get people in tune with who we are and what we got going on as a brand. That's it. What he said. <laughs> skinny Jimmy. Skinny uh, Jimmy. Skinny Jimmy. You care spoken. to give any hints on who's gonna be dropping first on that, or, or do you just have real talk? Re drop first. The wood was really supposed to be the first official Native Sunday, but we didn't do an announcement, and we really want to try to like do a better job of having a rollout when we when we put the songs out. We don't want to just drop the music without no promo first. You know what I mean? Right. So like. We might got down, drop the artwork first and give you a fair warning of when it's going to come out so you can tune in and not everybody can know at this day on this time, this is when the natives is coming. Or, you know what I mean? If one of us got a visual, we'll drop a teaser video first. We just want to make sure that we get more business minded about how we campaign things and have a rollout with the songs and not just make it, we just throwing out a song. You know what I'm saying? We want to get everybody involved. Right, right. All right, so uh, well, he said, <laughs> "I mean, you, you mentioned, you mentioned the, the new Rick single, so uh, why, don't you, why don't you talk about all this shit you got going on?" Yeah, yeah. talk to him. Yeah. I just finished the Rick and Knight project. I'm mastering it and shit. Um, that'd be awesome. I'm trying to drop this thing called Drunk Summer the EP. Just uh, like five or six songs, just to have something out for people, so they'll know what's going on and shit. You know, while people are waiting for the Rick and Knight album. You know? been waiting yeah yeah but i finally did that for you guys and whatnot so it's coming soon is that album is still listen to them go watch the video i got another video coming out soon we got hella shit coming out soon made a sunday though that's coming out sooner and uh go ahead Soonest. go ahead and talk about uh your edition of a live band your oh yeah the live set is awesome when we do the the, the shows now it's pretty pretty dope it's always fun to do that with my boy Jacquard, my boy Tay, my boy James. We're always turning up. Uh, anywhere possible, you can book us anytime to turn your shit out. Any one of us. Turn up, turn up, turn up. You know, gang. <laughs> gang, okay. gang, gang, go, go gang, gang. Go ahead and give us contact gang. info while you at it. Gang, gang, gang. You can uh, hit up Hideous, and Hideous will hit us. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you can hit me up. I will let them know. Definitely. Fun, man. <laughs> you don't watch your band at gmail.com? Yeah, that guy. <laughs> gang. 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 Yeah. So, uh, he's just like me. Er, uh, <laughs> who else is? Uh, who else has got a project? Y'all, tell me about all this heat coming out. Book, I do. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The book. I do. I book. just, I just wrote a children's book. Or what? Uh, released it on February 29th. It's called Just Like Me. It's available on Amazon. You can go to justlikeme.info. You can get it there. Uh, it really just talks about the connectedness of humankind. I feel like, you know, it's definitely necessary with, you know, the times that we're living in right now. Right. I mean, you know, natives are more than just music. We're also community activists, too, man. I mean, we're also trying to bring everybody together, give back, 
you know, we're doing uh, parties where we charge canned goods and like cases of water to get in and we're going to donate the waters to Flint, Michigan. We're going to donate the cans to the Salvation Army downtown, uh, you know, but I mean, these parties are just a way to kind of get the community together. We got a community fun day coming up where we have like vendors coming out. You're able to sell things. You're able to see us. We're in your face. There are games. There's food. There's prizes. I mean, so I mean. It's a lot of stuff that you can come out and, you know, be a part of. We want to make sure that everybody feels, you know, part of the collective group. You know what I'm saying? Because there's power in coming together, man. That's all the Natives is about. Gang. Church. Gang. 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 Natives love the kids. Natives yeah. love the kids. Yeah. Fuck with the kids. Yeah. Fuck with them. Yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> all right, so, uh... So, uh, let me see, what, uh, what's up with Z-Gen slash Quantum Flux? Hey man, shit, Quantum Flux got them, got something coming out in the works, you know what I mean? So with the homie Vividverse and King's Day, we working on a little something, something, you know what I mean? Engineer Cat, Big LaFleur, Big Gucci, got them, <laughs> Double A Cell over here, you know what I mean? Got them. Carmen. Kicking sauce Carmen. in the goddamn booth, you know? You feel me? Got them, so we out here, got them. Why you, what the fuck you got to say about this shit, man? Got Shan, got Shan over. That Brooklyn, that Brooklyn, <laughs> Brooklyn shine. Flux, yeah, Shan Yeshua. That's coming out. You a hoe. We finally got Shan Yeshua in the mix and stuff. You know, now finally done tracking and all of that shit. I really. Just been in a space where I've been trying to figure out how the hell to sell the shit that we already got going on. And, you know what I mean? Even though some of us are so spoken to others, I could vouch for everybody working. Because I've been most behind the scenes recording niggas, making the beats, trying to like step my production into the stick. And every one of these niggas consistently got material and consistently been working. We just been trying to go there and really figure out how the hell we're going to present it to y'all in a proper fashion and really build a brand and put a campaign behind the work. I feel like before we was doing shows and we was putting out a lot of material, but we weren't publishing our work, we weren't taking our ownership of it, we wasn't really trying to like put campaigns behind the records and push to give them a strong push, you know what I mean? Like a, a lot of shit is, is different now, but now yo, we for sure got the material, we got the work ready, we just trying to figure out the way that we can best get it to the people and get our branding and our internet platform strong, you know what I mean? And our shit in the city. Like Dre talking about as far as the community outreach and the events and shit like that. We're really just trying to goddamn show people that Natives is more of a brand and it's not just one type of media or one type of entity, you know what I mean? So right now we've been working on ways to sell us as a whole and get people to want to buy in and tune in to what we're doing before we try to give them dates or before we try to promise them when this is going to come or when this is going to happen, we just been stockpiling the work. Now we got the work, so it's just how we going to get it out. You know what I mean? Right, right, yeah. So, uh, what, do, what do you see, this is more of a, kind of just off the top of my head, kind of cerebral sort of question, I guess. But, uh, what do you see going on with uh, this music scene around here in the coming years? It's like, there's a lot of people clearly trying to make some moves and a lot of people really working hard at it. So do you have any kind of, do any of y'all have any kind of predictions or maybe? I don't know if I got a lot of predictions, but I do got a word of the advice. You there you go. I mean? like, uh, something to caution folks is really trying to get in the game out here, whatever it is that you're doing. If you're trying to get in the entertainment industry, it's not really established, you know what I'm saying? It's the Wild West right now. Right. Ain't nobody that's set letting up this sturdy foundation of a big name entertainment entity here. So you're really not going to go to nobody major for help. You need to kind of DIY as much as you can. Kind of like how the punk scene was here when it was thriving. Right. And anything else of that nature, you feel me? It's going to really take people taking it into their own hands and trying to start their own businesses or their own brands to, to, to build something down here because we, we need to build a foundation. That's what we lack. We don't have a scene. We don't have much of a community. And we're trying right. to be some of the first people to step up and, and fill that gap. Yes. Like, 
Yes. And if anything, I'm gonna say show some type of humility, bro. Like because out of anything, it's really hard to work with people here because you're dealing with a lot of people's egos. And you know, Definitely. I can say we joke around a lot, but collectively as a group, these are probably some of the strong, the strongest willed individuals that I know. And, you know, are really humble to want to work with. Bro, so, I mean, humility is a real possession in the changing times. You know, it is. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a great point. Uh, Church, <laughs> yeah, man. Quit with the fuck shit, man. <laughs> you, don't gotta be a, you don't gotta be a cool guy. <laughs> Put your egos to rest. We gotta unite if we want this this thing, this local scene to be a global thing in the future. We gotta come together, gang. Okay? It's not, gonna, it's it's not gonna be one or two teams, teams win championships, you know what I'm saying? There you go. Everybody, get out of the sun, let's get it done. How do we gotta get it? This team rocks. That, uh, what, what's that saying? It takes a village to raise a child or something like that? I mean, it's like, yeah. yep. it's, it's, yeah. the, it's the same It's the same kind of thing. It's like, it takes a collective effort in order to get anything done. And if anybody has ever paid attention to anything, they will know that the greatest achievements in humankind have been done by a mass of people. Like, I mean, look at the pyramids. That was a shit ton of people building that. <laughs> I mean, that was thousands of people and buckets of water and pulleys. And they made that, you know? Oh, yeah. or, or, well, people's gonna debate, but whatever. That's just the first thing I think of off the top of my head. But yeah, that's the thing that I always try to push on no one likes your band. It's like, look, we got to get together and get this shit done. But uh, let me jump back off my soapbox and uh, get y'all back talking. Uh, so who else has got a project coming out? I got something in the works. Indeed. It's a little secret me and Polly got going on. Shout out to Sheila who's not here right now. Uh, Sheila. These Sheba. guys don't even really know what we got going oh, on. Dang, she Real shit. Gang. Hiding it from the crew, honestly. Uh, me and Polly coming out with something, hopefully in the beginning of August, called Paranormal Divinity. Oh. And. Dad, say what? <laughs> say what? I'm intrigued but, just from the name. <laughs> The Paranormal Divinity, hopefully we're driving it out the first week of August. Yeah. We've been working on it in secret. Right this around the time Gusto Fest 5. This is everybody. I'm fucking up my way. Gang. That's what's up. Get ready for it. You want to give any more little information about that? I, I, I mean, it, I mean, just from the title alone, I'm like, are you, are you, is the subject matter about some? Oh yeah, I mean, I go by ghost, you know. That's okay. the paranormal side. Yeah. Paulie thinks he's a god, divinity. You know what I'm saying? So nice. we gonna we gonna turn this shit up, real shit. Y'all y'all really aren't ready for it. That sounds dope. We mix everything <laughs> from rap, rock, punk, all the shit. Hell we got yeah. we got a whole line of shit coming out to change the game the way we do rap. Nice, nice. He said that sounds fucking awesome. I I, I want I, I want that. As soon as I can get that. <laughs> And, and and just like that Rick Knight shit, like let, let me get that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've been waiting on Rick and Knight for years. Now. I'm saying though. <laughs> I'm, no. for years I'm now. saying, <laughs> man. <laughs> so what's up with your shit coming out? When's your shit coming out? I'm in the mix of stages. Greg just got down with the mix of stages. She playing visuals and campaign. I've been tracking they shit, so they in the tracking stages. We just been recording. We ain't really figured out no real track list and that for that. Oh, yeah. But mine, we got a track list, but it's a working order. I really got to cut it down. I got too many songs. So right now, like I said, I'm in mix. You can expect me to come. I ain't going to say a date, but I need probably about another two months. I got to get through mixing, and then I got to plan out campaign. Talk. There's really like the steps to the process. like. When you record your project, we call it a track. When you got them um, finishing and tweaking the sound, making sure everything is how as we want it to sound sonically, we mix. You know what I'm saying? After the mixing phase, then we go campaign. We start talking about what events you're going to be doing after that. How is we going to promote it? Is you going to draw visuals? What's going to be your scene? You know what I mean? Things of that nature. So like, right now, I'm in the mixing part of my process and I'm helping with everybody else's process. I hope everybody watching paid real close attention to that because that was valuable fucking knowledge right there. 
<laughs> like, this man just right. told y'all how to plan your shit. He's supposed yeah. to, though. He's he really was. He's really, really not he supposed to. Hey, man. You want to come learn some game for me? Shot with the kid. I helped you. You know what I'm saying? I want to see him win. Make the key. That's what we're about around here. We're trying to see all of us fucking win, though, man. man. It's like, because we're going to get money regardless. It's like, man, let's try to fucking get all of us to thrive around here, It's man. the winning team. Matter of fact, shout out to my boys over here. Goddamn Richard Beige and Fat Dre and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> These niggas got, like, a fucking complete-ass album called yeah. Bad Raps. You should holla at them about that shit, too. All right, go and speak on that. Let me hear about this. Top secret information. Actually done, been done. That's what's up. Still in the mix of stages. There's no campaign. Yeah. And they wanted to do interludes, so still away. That one is kind of like swaying nicely. You got two niggas trying to like agree on the vision. Sometimes that shit gets up. Well, probably with Swag Nostic, it's going to come out when it comes out and be dope as fuck. I'm not so. <laughs> Well, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's going to be fire when it comes out. I know. But uh, since we're uh, pressed for time right now, if y'all want to go ahead and jump in this little cypher thing. That's up to y'all. I'm going to be by. All right, ready? When you are. Okay, I'm there. Right now, I'm ready. Uh, it's a new way to get paid in a dismal face. Niggas is playing with my time, okay? I now shine like the sun do. I had that Ray Lay. Ray Allen, I shot through. Any kind of transgression, I do this. Y'all niggas know that there's no bias. When I spit it, I kill this shit. In these minutes that I'm breathing wild, niggas sin. Niggas mad because they breathing. Other niggas see me sucking up and never give a fuck. They couldn't see a boy. I'm human being blowing up. Y'all niggas give a fuck on Fetty Pop. I'ma get everybody ready shot. I'm already hot. Killing shit to the summer drop. Now it's back to winter. Y'all niggas is just beginning to spinning like I do. We ain't no local joker. Sickity whack at rapper like I'm tired of hoes and chokers. Losing focus. For a focus. For the patch. Niggas brought the swag. So I took it back like a quarterback. Option when I ran out with the sacks. Hit the corner. Off the south side, might just be in the corner, lie to the aroma. Big gas while I'm snaking. Hurry, SPECT meat, I got Franklin. Ugh. Mm. Broke out old bills, and that's old hundreds for the new thrills. But it's young kid Max, and it's kill him on the accident. And I got the double cup full of activists. Matter of fact, that's drink though. Kill him in the sink though. But they ain't even know I had to flip it like an independent description. These motherfuckers wanna get it. Catch me whipping in the kitchen with your mistress. Flip it, ship it, then dispense it. Holy fucking moly, holy smoke. Your bitch done caught the Holy Ghost. I would finish this fucking sentence. But Doc told me ice every 25 minutes. So I'm wearing two watches and these bitches got a clock it like. Stop it. You niggas whack shit. Holy moly, kid Maximus, just back for acrobatic, I kill shit, niggas just on that kill switch, motherfuckers just want to have the Mac, then I peel pills back. Ten reps, so permanent, like tattoo, don't let me drive past you, everything was good, and I kill shit like I'm on ten two, like a Star Wars, y'all niggas couldn't find y'all horse, that was part two. Young Rip, back with that action stab, and these niggas that act, cause I'm killing shit in Tyrannosaurus, it's big. I give a fuck about nobody in the kid, I'm still blowing up, nigga, I'm limited to this and kid. Damn. How I kick it, these bitches wanna get with it I'm killing shit and I shake the game up, boy I'm just like this, but don't waste my fucking time, ho I move like Prime, so I'm jumping off the cliff And then your bitch, like Geronimo uh, Big Dendy, the ghost, riding with the most The natives going to heroes We biking up like heroes, we shooting up like heroes All about the heroes Team is the winning team, we going in We be go, got hoes on my feet And I'm beasting down the street I got your bitch in the sheets, you been there for about a week I got no reason to talk to police Don't give a shit about your thesis, I'm fucking Slow in my words a little bit, I'm too drunk. Got this blunt in my mouth, got this gun in my tongue. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, hey. Okay, okay, okay. 12 baby subs, no baby. I'm a big dog, cool your float right. So it's it, drunk, not the push. 
put a uh, ice like a joint <laughs> there. Oh, I was serving, got a 30 and a 12, put that dick together, that's 42. Excuse me, Jane ain't worried, like I'm Gucci, man. They say these niggas is a clown, ayy. But since the real one home, nigga, I'm gone. I done Bye. came for the thorn in my zone. I blow the zone, hoes on, of the strong, good guy. No, kick the kick. No, kick the kick. No, kick the kick. No, kick the kick. 